Today we're going to be talking about how to add and edit to a Google site. So once you are in the Google site, this is probably the first page you will uh, enter as you get here. Uh, I'll just walk you around a few steps. Um, you do have a home page right here. You have your classes that you can click on. So if you just want to scroll down and go to, let's say, pre-K, you can click on it. It will go to the pre-K class. If you want to go to second grade um, and add information, um, same thing. Go, you know, whichever class you'd like to go to you'll be able to uh, just click on that class and go there. If you want to try it a different way, you can go in this section right here where it says pages, <clears throat> and then you can click on the specific class that you would like to edit, okay? So that is how you get to the classes, all right? Uh, a few other things, we'll go to eighth grade since that's what I'll be working on today. Uh, how do we add information? How do we delete information? How do we add things that we created? So if we, if we get into the class that we want to, it's very simple as to just double click and you have a few options. You can add an image. So if you wanna you know, buy a URL, maybe you found something online that you, you would like to post, um, you can search for something specific. Now, when you do a search, the only things that do pop up are free to use items. So you might not find everything that you're looking for, um, but that is one way to do it. Um, photos that you have in your Google Drive or maybe you have added or something specific from your Google Drive that you added there. Okay, so how about we will add a picture and we can search for something like school. So you'll find a lot of information. So how about we just use this picture right here. We'll click on the word that says insert and then it'll add a picture. You now have an option to you know resize it, make it as big as you want, make it as small as you want. You can center it if you want. Notice that there are on the sides uh, those little brackets that'll tell you if it's centered. Um, you know anything to that extent that you can do. Now that you've added a picture, we can add some text. So this TT right here and it means text. We're going to add some text. So uh, welcome back to school. We'll call this E learning. Week. Now that we've added some text right here, we have some options to keep it as normal text. The way you see it, you can make it into a title, which will make it bolder, um, uh, headings, subheadings, and then uh, very small. Now it's very important that you keep everything uh, organized just so that students are able to find everything that they need clearly. So we will leave this as a title text. You now have the option to center it. You can italicize it if you want. Uh, you cannot um, change the font. So the fonts stay the same. That's just the way it is. Okay. So now that we've added a picture, we've added some text. We can also uh, import some things that we created. So if you have something from your desktop, for example, like a PDF, we can import a PDF. So we'll use this Math Minutes. Oh, well, it looks like can. Let's see. Let's upload something what do we want to upload we can upload a picture if you want we can upload files um, but anything that you want specifically like a PDF would have to be from your Google Drive so let's add something from the Google Drive and then here you'll find everything that you need so let's go to our school year and then we can go to let's go let's go to the Constitution let's add something from here so I have some some documents in here that I can add for the students and I'm gonna add this PDF. So now I've added this PDF for the students to see um, and then they have this right here for them. I can resize it if I want, uh, make it smaller, make it bigger. Uh, it is scrollable for the students. So you'll see this little section right here um, as soon as it pops up. That will be the, their scrollable section so that they can see everything. Now if they wanna make it bigger, this little box right here will open it up into a new tab and make that document bigger okay so that's that if you want to add a YouTube or anything else you go to this section right here where it says insert if you want to you know make it a little look a little nicer you got some templates right here that you can add to yourself uh, some collapsible text so we'll add some of that right here and let's say you can say hello we'll go week one More classable text. We got hello, week one. You can do hello, week two. 
and then you can you know add yourself some information that way uh, if you want you can do a table of context at the top and then the students would just click here and it will drag them to that specific spot in the um, in the site itself so if you just want to label it as week one or March 23rd March 24th March 25th March 26th the moment the student clicks on this it's going to move them directly to that specific spot in the page itself okay image carousel this is kind of like um, a slideshow so if you have multiple pictures you want to put in you can do that as well um, we can add some uh, you know a button if you want to link it to a specific website that they need to go to ABC mouse or YouTube or whatever that might be you can add a button for that a divider just creates a little section uh, division between this section and this section here um, inserting a YouTube video a calendar you can add a calendar from let's say your class so I'm gonna add the calendar from my Google classroom and the students will be able to see this here and they'll be able to click on certain sections um, document so if you created a document for the student to see I'll add in a document so we'll do this e-learning document right here we'll add it in right here these are the things that you'll see on fifth sixth seventh and eighth grade and anything that you edit on this specific document will automatically publish to the website so once you make a Google Doc you don't have to edit this again it just updates itself okay let's add you know you can add a Google slide this is something that I put onto everybody's website you can delete it if you want uh, but this just plays automatically for the students themselves to see some information a Google form some charts so anything that you want to add here you can do this now one thing that I would suggest nobody do please do not switch the themes because this switches the theme for the entire uh, website so if you click or change it it's gonna change it for the entire website um, some other information once you are done or once you have changed anything on the website please do not forget to hit the button that says publish because if you do not hit publish it will not update to the live website so we'll hit publish and then it'll bring you to a page like this this will show you um, everything that you have changed in the website everything that you have added and this is what is currently published up here so the moment you hit publish uh, the website will be updated automatically and then students will be able to see that specific change now one more thing that I want to tell all the teachers is let's do this really quick so one thing that I, I want to tell all the teachers is we'll go to I've, I've spoken with some of these teachers already to get this information up and rolling so if you do not give uh, sharing capabilities to students this is what they will see uh, because they are not on the school network they are not at school they will not see the things that you posted so for you to your Google form your Google slides or anything like that you must must share it with everyone because students will not be on their school emails will probably be on their personal device so for this to show up what you need to do is in your Google Drive or a document that you created let's open up a document that we created so in this document that you created your Google slide or whatever it might be you must go to this button right here that says share once you click to share you need to go to advanced click on the button that says advanced and then right here where it says who has access you want to change the word that says change and then you want to make it public to everyone the reason we want to make it public is because uh, they will not be on their personal email devices so you want to make sure that students uh, have access to this on a cell phone a tablet anything that it might be because if you have it on anyone with the link you're gonna run into issues anyone on st. Margaret issues anyone on st. Margaret you're gonna have issues and if you keep it off again you're going to have issues when it says access anyone no sign in required that's basically what you're telling them they don't be, need to be signed into an email they don't need to be signed into anything they can just view do not give them edit editing access because then they will be able to edit the website so just leave it as they can view it and then hit on the button that says public on the web all right i hope this helps thank you and have a great day